Welcome everybody, uh, family of the bride and groom. We are here today because love has gathered us here together. On this day, John Nash and Emily Bly will pledge their lives as one and commit themselves to each other forever in marriage. John and Emily, there are no obligations on earth more sweet or tender than those you're about to assume. There are no vows more solemn than those you're about to make. There is no human institution more sacred than the one of the home you're about to establish. Marriage is the holiest of all earthly relationships. Yes, marriages are made in heaven, but they have to be maintained here on earth. May you see that your love is truly a gift from God. May your marriage be such that the world will know of your deep love for one another, as well as for God and the one who brought you together here today. And who presents any of you married to John? John and Emily, uh, John, will you take Emily to be your lawful wedded wife to live together in the bonds of marriage, and will you commit yourself completely to her and her alone, and will you promise to love her, care for her, and stand by her through all that life may bring as long as you both shall live? Yeah. And Emily, will you take John to be your lawful wedded husband to live together in the bonds of marriage? Will you commit yourself completely to him and him alone? And will you promise to love him, care for him, and stand by him through all that life may bring, as long as you both shall live? Today, you're giving yourselves to one another to love and to live. Your lives are being woven together, and in time, they will intertwine in such a way that you truly become one in heart, and mind, and soul. Listen to these verses that reflect this kind of love from 1 Corinthians 13, 4, 8. Love is patient. It is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs, love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always preserves, love never fails. John Emily, may this kind of love always keep you, help keep you the promises you're about to make here today. John, please repeat that for me. I, John, take you, Emily, to be my lawfully wedded wife. I, John, take you, Emily, to be my lawfully wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. To death do us part. To death do us part. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Emily, please be wedded husband. the whole of this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to death do us part. This is my solemn vow. You're about to give each other a ring. The wedding ring is a symbol of many things. It's made of precious metals that symbolize a love that is pure and enduring. It is made of rare gems that symbolize a love that is priceless and irreplaceable. It is made in perfect circle that symbolizes a love that is permanent and everlasting. And whenever you look at your rings, it may forever remind you of the promises you have made here today, this day to keep your love pure, priceless, and permanent. Uh, bring the rings down, or check the rings. I have Emily's ring. Go. John, please repeat that for me. Emily, this ring I give you. Emily, this ring I give you. A token of my love and devotion. A token of my love and devotion. And with my heart. And with my heart. I pledge to you all that I am. I pledge to you all that I am. With this ring I marry you. With this ring I marry you. I join my life to yours. I join my life. John's ring. Please repeat that for me, Emily. Please, uh, John, this ring I give you. Token of my love and devotion. And with my heart, I bless you all that I am. With this ring I marry you. Enjoy my life to yours. I'll bow our heads in prayer, please. Dear Lord, we pray that you will bless this man and this woman as they begin their new journey together. In all the experiences of life, may they always stay close to you and to each other as they share the joys and blessings as well as the trials and heartaches. 
Help them to honor and keep the promises made here today and remind them daily of your great love for them so they in turn may reach out to love others. Give them such love and devotion that each may be the other a strength in need, a comfort in sorrow, a counselor in difficulty, and a companion in joy. Amen. John, through the sands of time, you've grown into the person you are today. This container of sand represents all that you were, all that you are, and all that you will ever be. And through the sands of time, you have grown into the person you are today. This container of sand represents all that you were, all that you are, and all that you will ever be. As you each hold your separate container of sand, it symbolizes your lives prior to this moment. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, as you blend the sands together, it symbolizes the blending together of your two hands, two hearts, and two lives into one. Just as these grains of sand could never be separated again, so may your lives be blended together for all eternity. John and Emily, we have witnessed today the joining of your two lives in holy matrimony. You have exchanged your vows and given and received these rings as a token of your love and commitment to each other. And so I now bestow upon you the most honorable titles that may exist between a man and a woman. I now pronounce you husband and wife. John, you may kiss your brother. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's with great pleasure to introduce to you for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. John Nash.